Welcome to another video about BSPWM and um, I've, uh, I'm trying to anticipate questions of uh, users and one of the things maybe people will say look Eric you have this thing here which looks great but these gaps are too big or the border is too big and the color is not right and so, such things. So where is this information? Let's go to this is desktop 1, let's go to desktop 10 and I press here super shift return you see what I press and then we are investigating so I have this thing I need to clean up everything <laughs> compulsory <laughs> anyway um, it's gonna be here or it's gonna be here but this one is all about keyboard shortcuts so it's probably gonna be here right this is about auto starting stuff we can already open it because Adam is going to open the complete directory which I'm gonna need anyway so it's not gonna be in the auto start that's applications we want to run okay we've um, fixed already some things uh, while we were uh, making tutorials we said uh, Nick and I we said hey let's put this run in front of it because um, in here we have a little application that says hey if it's it's not running then you can run it otherwise don't do it don't start variety over and over and over again because one of the things that uh, should be mentioned at some point in time in the tutorial is that reloading variety it does not like that that's like reloading the plank it doesn't like that either so sometimes it pays off to log off log on or even reboot to really know what's going on in your system but um, using this run here and that will fix things uh, but if there are problems what do you do right mouse click quit wait for it it takes about five ten seconds and then right it stops restart it and everything will be fine again whoa well like it's an extra included uh, you know me I always teach more than I the title this is what we want we need to find where is the code for the border with three okay what about two control save reloading this thing Remember, it might crash this little guy up here, but we're going to reload and don't care about variety at this point. Super Shift R, and then it's smaller. One, save, Super Shift R, and then it's even smaller. Maybe you like it like this. I like it as well. Let's keep it like this. Then this config window cap. Now, let's see if we can okay right is still working you see all the blue from this from the C I think it is and what if we made the config half so delete 50 <laughs> I would like to see what happens when it's 50 I was thinking so this is 5 it's very small now you see something in between what happens is that auto start reloads again this the background for the wallpaper so when I say stop doing that <laughs> then it's it's not doing that anymore so reloading and then taking another wallpaper something bright like some something like this uh, this one okay so we see there's a well a gap but it's a very minor gap I was thinking about 50 let's do that let's do just for the fun just for the kicks this is 50 would be good maybe for a screenshot to say hey I'm gonna show people and this is my my system you know put this on the side screenshot done forget about it and hopla. let's make it back to let's say five save reload so we have now a small border not a different color actually is jpeg installed let's move to another thing all trash this thing all trash Control shift D JPEG we have indeed JPEG installed and we can go find out what color we want to have um, let's take this orange here add to palette and then we have a code okay we have a color code which is now here blue copy my guess is that two hashtags is too much and we 
be safe. This border color is the one that's not active. Super Shift R, reload. Oh yeah, but this time maybe I would like to have my border back to three because I rather like it when it's being when it's orange like this. And when it's not active, then it's okay. It's great. It's obvious that it's not working. That's good. Well, when we're changing colors, we're changing colors. So let's include Alex appearance as well in this video. We are all red now, but there is something like the cow dark, which is more or less the same color as you see. So I'm going to apply this kind of color with an icon theme that's also Takao somewhere. Here it is. Saturday Mono Numix. Why not the Numix? There's other Takaos as well. I think. Lots of things here. Let's not waste time. Let's say apply. And let's reload everything. Close this up. Sorry, close this up, close that up, open it up again. So we have now also these orange things here, orange elements here, and we have been tuning our system. By the way, that's super right mouse click drag. So what else maybe? That's I think about it. What I would change, top padding, 30, maybe this one, let's see what this does. This is going to actually start from the bottom, uh, start from the top. So if you say zero, it's actually starting from the very top and it's hiding away our polybar. So that's not a good idea to change these settings up here. Or include it in the video. What was this single monocle again? Let me think. Right, it's like the same setting in i3. Uh, smart gaps on, I think it's called in i3. So single monocle, when you have only one window, window, do you want your spaces or not? So if I kill this one with this button, then there are no gaps anymore. Well, that's a choice, but if you press again, you have again a gap. So that's what it does. It says, hey, if there's only one window, then you don't need gaps. And the split ratio, 50-50, you see what it does. If you say, I'm going to split it like so. Um, oops, what am I doing? Control Z, I don't want to change that. Like so. Oops, reload, Eric. So, first save and then reload, super shift R, then kill this thing, then open up open terminal. And then you see that whatever comes uh, next will get only 30%. And if we take 70, it's the other half, the other two thirds. So I think best to stay off of this and keep everything as is, which means that we'll have this. And that's, I think, more or less what's important and is incredible how little tutorials I have to make. I mean, there is really nothing to be told. Um, maybe I can include as well the way how we find these things here. The rule, Spotify, VLC. There is a reason why it's called MPV, Fane, Nitrogen and so on. So we find it often with Xprop. So Xprop is an application you can click on something and then you get this information. And most of the time in Awesome, BSP, WM and i3, looking for it, here it is. Class string is most of the time is the last one that we want to use and we can say Okay, Atom is going to be floating or Atom is going to be tiled or full screen and all that because under here it's tiled, floating and full screen. So those are the states you can define. And um, well, that's done for me. This is uh, what you need to know. All right.
Cheers.